Mike Robinson, always alert. You see him every Friday night on Game Day Nation. He joins us now for Big Play Breakdown. And Mike Rob, we're going to take a look at two plays, yep. beginning with the Central Fremont Ross game as the Irish remain undefeated in the Three Rivers Athletic Conference. Absolutely. What a game that was Friday night, Mark. And everybody that tuned in, I'm sure they enjoyed it. But this play is the one we got to get to, the big one. Let's take a look here. Tywan Clark sitting here in the fourth quarter, eight minutes left to go. Ball is tipped by Sims, but wait, there's more. Who caught that ball right there? How did it even happen? Let's just take a deeper look. Let's take a look. Tywan Clark, he fakes the ball to Edmonds. The ball is tipped by the defender. But you see, when you got your head on a swivel, that's what Mark was talking about. Mr. Caleb Carter keeps his eyes there and he locks in, catches it with his hands too. And right in stride, it almost looked like it was natural and meant to happen. That is a big play right here. Let's take another look at it. Again, Carter, you see the tip? Oh, heartbreaking. Alejandro's right there as well. And look at the face. Uh, coach, but I, I, that's the big play breakdown. Big play there for Central Catholic in their win. Lots of highlights from that game. Our second play tonight comes from that Ottawa Hills Northwood game. I know what you're thinking. Yeah. That game was 5-2. How can there be any big <laughs> plays in a 5-2 game? Well, we found one. A very big play by the Green Bears as they beat Northwood for the first time in five years. Well, listen, check it. You know, you never have a play for third and 17. It's just something that you don't have in the playbook. Unless you're the Green Bears. <laughs> they have a play for it. So let's take a look. This is very tricky. Chris Hardman, you got to tip the hat to you, man. Excellent job here. You just look around and you say, what happened? And the defense has no idea. I had no idea initially what happened. I thought it was a penalty. But no, Perosic gets the football and the Statue of Liberty play. Take a look. Look at his arm right there. He's practiced this. It is tucked perfectly so he can cup it, scoop it, and score it. The beautiful, the beautiful thing about this play is the receivers cleared out the route and they made a big lane for him to run through. And we'll take a look at that lane. Take a look again. Receivers clearing out, tight ends flying out. And as he takes a look, there's nobody in sight. He had one guy to beat and he had a long way to go. But for some reason, that safety didn't want no piece of him. He just ran right past him and got the first down by a hair. That is a big play and that sealed the deal. Ottawa Hills, great victory. Yeah, Green Bears able to bleed the clock after picking up that first down. Now, Ottawa Hills, they've got a big game coming up this Friday as they travel to Eden. The Bombers, talk about contrast yes. in styles. Ottawa Hills likes to keep the ball on the ground. The Bombers and Bob Owen, they love to throw the ball around. Yeah, Ganahu, and, and you also look at Cassius Holbert up front. This is a really good team. You know, they've been good for years and years. Cardinal Stritch last year, they had to get them to, to able to get that track championship and Northwood there. But exactly the difference this year. Eden is just so good. Five wide spread you out. Look like Fremont. Look like Finley. It's just a smaller school, but they still have the talent. Record-breaking quarterback versus a contrasting style of offense. It's going to be a game of attrition. Who can get the most first downs? Now, coming up later this week on the Robinson Report, Mike Rob will break down the Rogers start game, the Northview Southview game, as well as Central St. Francis. But while I have you here tonight, let's talk about the Northern Lakes. There's yes. Anthony Wayne, another shutout on Friday night. They have six shutouts this year, which ties the school record. What makes that general's defense so tough? What makes it tough is the coaching and the culture. The two C's for Anthony Wayne is what it's all about. This is a football program. Okay? They believe in what they do. Early season losses, it didn't affect them. They bounced back, they rallied back, and they even beat Perrysburg when it seemed like it wasn't possible. This is a team that just finds a way defensively to make stops up front. The defensive line has always been tough, but the back half of their defense has been very impressive this season, and you got to give it to this team because they find a way to do it and do it, and hopefully not for Springfield that they get their seven shutout. And they've already spray painted the big 2-1 in the locker room as they are the 2021 NLL champions. As Mike Rubb said, they head to Holland on Friday night for the blue and white game. Mike Rubb, thank you for joining us. Looking forward to seeing those Robinson reports later this week. Thanks for having me.